Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through some fraction word problems, and we're going to be working with fractions of a group. So our whole will be the whole group, and then we have individual parts of that whole group. We will be writing out fractions here, so we will need to determine the numerator and denominator based on the situation. Let's jump into number one, where we have, Bo has seven pencils in his backpack. Four pencils are blue and three pencils are yellow. What fraction of the pencils are blue? Let's start with the denominator. So the total number of parts that make up the whole group. Well, that's seven pencils. Bo has seven pencils in his backpack. So that's our denominator, seven pencils in total. Each one of those pencils is an equal part of the whole group. Now we need the numerator. That's the number of parts out of the whole that we are interested in, that we are focused on. We can think of the numerator as the number of parts we are talking about. We want what fraction of the pencils are blue. So the number of blue pencils is going to be our numerator. Well, Bo has four pencils that are blue. So four is our numerator. Four out of the seven pencils are blue. So our fraction here, four sevenths. Four sevenths of the pencils are blue. Moving on to number two, what fraction of the pencils are yellow? Let's start with the denominator, which is going to be seven again. So the denominator is seven, and now we need the numerator. So the number of yellow pencils, Bo has three pencils that are yellow. So three is our numerator. Three out of the seven pencils are yellow. So our fraction here, three sevenths, three sevenths of the pencils are yellow. Now you'll notice I have a visual of seven pencils off to the right. That's there to help us picture these two word problems. I'll provide visuals for the other examples as well, but our main focus here is going to be working from the word problems. But feel free to use the visuals to help out. Let's move on to number three. Taking a look at number three, we have Sophia baked a dozen sugar cookies. And remember, a dozen means 12. She made seven with orange frosting and five with blue frosting. What fraction of the cookies have orange frosting? Let's start with the denominator. So the total number of cookies here, Sophia baked a dozen sugar cookies. Again, a dozen is 12. So 12 is our denominator here. And now we need the numerator. We are looking for the cookies that have orange frosting. So how many cookies were made with orange frosting? Seven were made with orange frosting. So seven is our numerator. Seven out of the 12 cookies have orange frosting. So our fraction here, seven twelfths. Seven twelfths of the cookies have orange frosting. Lastly, let's move on to number four. Taking a look at number four, we have Donovan has 11 red marbles and five yellow marbles. What fraction of the marbles are red? Let's start with the denominator. So we need the total number of marbles here. Now the problem doesn't directly tell us how many marbles Donovan has, but we can figure it out with the information that was given. He has 11 red marbles, and five yellow marbles. So let's add those to see how many marbles he has in total. 11 plus five gives us 16. So Donovan has 16 marbles in total. That's our denominator. Now we need the numerator and we're looking for the fraction of the marbles that are red. Donovan has 11 red marbles, so 11 is the numerator. 11 marbles out of the 16 total marbles are red. Our fraction here, 11 sixteenths. 11 sixteenths of the marbles are red. 
So there you have it. Those were some word problems to help our understanding of fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.